In today's video, I'm going to show you how we dyed these floor mats using VHT vinyl dye. Let's get started with the process. What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to show you how to paint your carpet or floor mats. And it's really simple, very easy and cheap method to doing this. This is VHT vinyl dye. It says it's for vinyl or cloth seats, carpet and dashes. Uh, won't fade or flake off, penetrates deep. Um, stuff like that so I got this if you don't remember so I got this from a seller on eBay which I will put a link in the description in a previous video which will also be a link in the description where they sent me some stuff and I've been using it on this channel um, so I highly recommend checking the links out and going and checking their store on eBay they have a ton of cool stuff like this this can was super cheap but anyways what we're gonna do is I already vacuumed this floor mat um, it will need scrubbed clean you can see it's kind of darker down there it's because it's just dirty um, I highly recommend cleaning these before you do anything. You'll have to scrub it down with some like Dawn dish soap and a scrubby brush or some carpet cleaner and then let it air dry. Then after it's air dry, we'll come back and I will show you how I spray this and make it look really good because these used to be blue. I'll have a picture right here so you can see what they used to be um, and what they are now. It's two totally different things. This is a very cheap and effective way to change the color of your seats, carpets, dash, or floor mats. In this case, we're doing the floor mat since I already did the carpet, which there'll be a link in the description for that video as well, where I dyed the carpet using RIT dye. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scrub these down and then we'll get back out here. All right, so using just a bristle brush like this and some carpet cleaner, some foaming carpet cleaner. Uh, you can get this at Walmart, Dollar Tree, you know, wherever. Um, but basically just gonna spray it on there and then uh, scrub it in and then rinse it with some hot water. Now this method does work a lot easier if you have a shampooer, which I do. I'm just showing you a method other than the shampooer method. Um, this works really well. As you can see, there's a lot of dirt and crap in there. So I'm going to do that to the other one, and we'll go outside and get ready to paint it. All right, so now that it's dry, um, we're basically just going to make sure there's nothing on it, and then we will uh, end up spraying it with the VHT vinyl dye, which will shake up really well. We'll just apply a thick coat. And while it's still wet, I'm going to use this, which I used during my RIT dye for the carpet. Uh, that video is on the Texas Hana channel. There will be a link in the description. Now, basically, while it's wet, we'll just do this with this uh, scrubby pad thing. And it will um, make it to where it doesn't have a rough feel afterwards. Because a lot of people complain that the VHT and Dupla Colors dye in the spray can has like a rough texture. Which, I know what they're talking about because I've done it. But... If you do it this method, it doesn't really have that rough of a texture. So also another thing, um, it will have a fume off period where it does smell like spray paint. Uh, it's not too horrible of an odor, but if you can't handle fumes, um, if you can't handle spray paint very well, you might have to let it air dry outside for a couple days before putting them back in the car. Um, if you have a vehicle that you're painting interior in and you have to drive it around, just drive around with the windows down. The fumes aren't even that bad though. But if you're wanting it fume free, I definitely recommend going with the RIT dye. All right, so I'm gonna stop talking. Uh, we're gonna scrub this down after we spray it and we'll go from there.
I'm happy with that. So I'll go ahead and do the other one and then we'll go over some things. So there they are, they look pretty good. Um, if there is blue or a different color that's bleeding through, you will have to go with the second coat, but these look pretty good. Uh, these are basically throwaway floor mats. They're real cheap and I didn't even want to save them, but I'm glad I did because they actually turned out pretty decent. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend the VHT vinyl dye, which there will be a link in the description. You can get the dupli color, which is the equivalent to that. But yeah, I do believe that VHT and dupli color are the same company, so uh, both of them work but yeah it works really well um, you can do the writ dye from Walmart it's like two or three dollars for a little bottle you mix it with some hot water and a spray bottle and you spray it the only thing I didn't like about the writ dye was that the carpet actually had more of a purplish look to it whenever it was dry but these actually look more like a dark color like a black how it's supposed to now this one is light a little bit so I might go over it with one more coat and just scrub it in after it's dry if you take a soft bristle brush and then kind of basically comb or brush it in it doesn't have a hard rough texture and uh, you could use it really well on seats so highly recommend it i'm going to give another shout out to Heint sales on ebay link will be in the description go check out their store they have a ton of stuff they hooked us up with this so uh, big shout out to them but we'll put these back in the car and see how it looks all right so it's the next day i wanted to show you what they look like I've been using them since I was driving the car, but uh, yeah, looks pretty good, I think. Um, you can definitely tell it's like a lighter black because they were blue. Like I said, if you went over with another coat, it'd look even better. But this is the carpet um, with the writ dye on it. Um, this carpet matched these seats uh, before I did the writ dye, which, like I said, there was a video link in the description of me doing this on the Texas Honda channel. But overall, I think it looks pretty good and a uh, really inexpensive way to change the color of your floor mats and it'll work on seats. So I'm probably going to end up doing it on these back seats here. Um, I already did the floor mats down there on the ground and yeah, I just wanna change the look of all these seats. These are just gonna get racing seats, but the backs I'll just uh, end up using the die and it works pretty well, so. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. So here's an update on the Civic's engine. We are on 1,000 cc injectors, uh, 30 pounds of boost now. We got the GT30 twin scroll turbo, um, the Terra pistons, forged rods. Uh, right now, have an eight pound flywheel with a stage four racing clutch. It's a six puck sprung. This car's definitely putting down some power. We're gonna see exactly how much um, here soon when I can afford to get to the dyno again. And uh, there will be a video on the Texas Honda channel of that. So definitely subscribe to the Texas Honda channel if you haven't already. And uh, stay tuned because I'll have a lot more on this uh, engine setup. We're going to be going for five to 600 horses. Right at about now, I would say I'm around 350 to 400. Um, but won't know until we hit the dyno. But uh, definitely stay tuned, guys, because I have more coming. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit the like button and drop a comment below. It helps the channel big time, and uh, I'm going to try to get more content out for you guys as soon as possible. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.